The materials in this video are for educational purposes only. Before administering any course of therapy or dietary changes, talk to your holistic veterinarian. It is your veterinarian's function to diagnose your pet's medical condition and prescribe the appropriate diet, herbal therapies, and other natural treatments. Our pets are family. As family members, we should provide them with the best that life has to offer. There is a lot of confusion about what to feed our cats and dogs these days. In fact, there is so much confusion about diet that we aren't sure what to eat ourselves. Why all the confusion? It's called big business and marketing. We hear one thing one day and something totally different the next day. Vets often get much of their educational materials from the pharmaceutical companies and the pet food industry. Vets begin to incorporate these theories into their practice. They begin to over-medicate pets and recommend overly processed and potentially harmful foods for pets. Feeding pets is a multi-billion dollar industry. A large portion of pet owners are turning to a natural lifestyle for themselves and would like to provide a healthy lifestyle for their pet. Many vets are studying natural medicine. These natural vets still use surgery and drugs, but only when absolutely necessary. They use foods, herbs, glycerin tinctures, homeopathic remedies, massage therapy, and many more natural healing modalities to accelerate the healing process in their patients. They don't over-prescribe drugs, use toxic flea dips, and don't overly vaccinate the animals, except those required by the law. This is the future of veterinarian medicine. The way to your pet's health is through their stomach. Until the invention of pet foods, pet owners shared their meals with their furry friends. People ate healthier meals and shared these healthy meals with their pets. Now, because most people eat such poor quality diets, feeding them table scraps would cause their health to degrade quickly. That is why you often hear vets say, don't feed your pets table scraps. So instead, we buy huge bags of overly processed pet foods and low-grade canned pet foods. And this becomes the only thing that we feed them every day for their entire life. They get sick and die and our hearts break. We thought we were providing the best food and health care for the one we love so much. There are two types of pet foods, natural and conventional. Conventional pet foods often contain harmful ingredients. We are not going to dwell on how toxic these conventional pet foods are. We will not dwell on the pollution, but we will concentrate on the solution. There are many books and organizations that make it their business to expose all of the hazardous ingredients that end up in your pet's food. Always shop at the health food store. Purchase their supplements, shampoos, natural flea dips, treats, toys, and everything there. Pet food labels are extremely vague in showing the actual ingredients used. Labels do not indicate the hidden hazards that lurk in each can or bag of commercial pet foods. 
hormones, pesticides, pathogens, heavy metals, rancid oils, fillers, euthanized animals, road kills, and much more. Who is watchdogging this unregulated industry? Don't wait until your pet gets sick to start them on a natural health care program. How do we know what to feed our best friends? By looking at your pet's diet in the wild, you can formulate a diet that is appropriate for their species. Like us, your pet needs a diet that is fresh, organic, whole, raw, natural, and specific to their species. Does that sound too simple? It is. Many pet foods have an excessive amount of grains in them. This has been found to be a contributing factor to allergies and many other medical problems. Animals in the wild eat their prey. Their prey may have been eating wild grasses, nuts, seeds, vegetable matter, and more. Very little grain is found in their diet and the diet of carnivores. But the pet foods contain large amounts of grains. This high intake of carbohydrates can cause many, many health problems. For example, don't try to turn your cat or dog into a vegetarian. Cats and dogs are carnivores. They have teeth and claws that are designed to catch their prey. They have short digestive systems designed to digest their prey quickly. They are equipped with enzymes to digest specific foods that they have been eating for many years and ages. Always talk to your holistic veterinarian, naturopathic physician, or other natural health care provider before beginning any health care program. A balanced diet of raw meat, raw bones, vegetables, essential fatty acids, herbs, super green foods will provide your pet with a wide variety of vitamins and minerals. Adding other nutrients like homemade vegetable broths, homemade blended soups, vegetable juices, blended sprouts can add a great amount of nutrition to their diet. Like humans, the amount of food your pet needs depends on their breed, size, metabolic rate, activity, age, current health conditions. So before starting a program, talk this over with your vet. If you want to keep your best friend healthy and happy, here are some health tips. The most important person in your pet's life, besides you of course, is your veterinarian. Find a veterinarian that practices a blend of conventional and holistic medicine. Naturopathic doctors, health food store employees, and other natural health professionals can also help educate you about a natural approach to health care for your best friend. Vets should be educators, not medicators. Like conventional medicine, veterinarian medicine has become a business about medicating your pet from birth to death. A holistic veterinarian will take the time to educate you about a natural approach to health care for your pets. Choose your vet wisely. Taking your pet to the wrong vet can cut this family member's life short. Going to the wrong doctor can also be hazardous to your health. You control the biggest variable affecting your pet's health. That's right, food. Selecting a nutritious diet is the most important choice you can make for this furry family member. Where you shop for your pet is a very important factor in your pet's health care. For all of your pet food and personal care products, shop at the health food store. Health food stores carry only the highest grade products for your pet under one roof. They carry product lines from small companies 
that have not compromised their quality for high profits. Provide your pet with reverse osmosis or distilled water. Use glass or stainless steel bowls. Water is a natural solvent and will pull chemicals out of the plastic bowls that it sits in. Purchase a natural pet food. There are companies that have natural canned foods, kibble diets, natural treats, raw frozen food, raw freeze-dried foods, supplements, and whole food blends to add to their food for extra nutritional support. Most companies recommend a rotational diet that incorporates all of these items. Pick up some literature in the health food store about the many choices that you have to make for your best friend. Your pet needs a place to get its daily requirement of sunshine. Dogs can be walked outside. Place your cat or dog's bed near a window so they can get their daily sunshine. Give your pet a 15-minute full-body massage every day. It is not only good for your blood pressure and stress, but it is also a great way to examine your pet's body for abnormalities or injuries. Avoid vaccinating your pet, except those required by the law. Educate before you vaccinate. Check out the many websites on the hazards of vaccinations. Never use toxic chemical deworming agents on your pet. Purchase a natural dewormer from the health food store. Use only natural skin care products from the health food store. Remember, anything that touches your pet's skin enters the bloodstream within minutes. Health food stores have natural salves, shampoos, and remedies for your pet. Do not use flea dips, collars, or chemical flea preparations. Buy natural flea collars and shampoos and dips from the store. Avoid drugs and toxic preparations. Drugs are dangerous and overprescribed by veterinarians. These toxic substances build up in your pet's body and produce disease. Use only natural treats for your pet. Purchase them from the health food store. Some health food stores have a natural snack section. These baked goods are made from all natural ingredients and can be used for occasional treats. They are gluten, corn, and wheat free. Your pet will help you pick out the right bed. These beds are made from natural fibers that can be washed. Spray it with essential oils to keep away odors. Purchase toys that are safe and non-toxic. Health food stores have many to choose from. Your pet will help you pick out the right one. Natural health care books are a great way to get up to speed about the best way to take care of this important family member. Use only natural deodorizers for your home. Do not wash your floors with toxic chemicals. These can damage your pet's kidneys if they walk on them. an air purifier in your home. Air pollution is a major problem in most homes. Plants are a natural source of air cleaners. Your pet will be less tempted to eat trees. Be sure to get a list of toxic plants to avoid. They can be found in most pet books. Do not use chemical plug-in deodorizers in your home. Use only natural essential oils to get rid of odors. Do not spray your yard with herbicides. This is where your dog is walking and eating grass. Talk to the employees and owners 
of the health That's food store. Deal. They are a great source of information. They often know more about natural pet foods and natural health care products than your vet. Your pet will love the trip to the natural pet store. This is their chance to socialize with their friends and help you pick out the highest quality products. So teach your pet to eat and shop naturally. What do I feed my best friend? You don't have to prepare your pet's food, but if you would like to, check out our video, Making Pet Food from Scratch. Most people don't have the time to make their pet's food, but if you would like a high quality diet, there are companies that will do this for you. Today we are visiting a natural pet store. Have fun and enjoy the tour. This video will provide you with an overview of the possibilities for your pet. All labels in the store are natural. No conventional or low quality brands will be shown. The purpose of this video is to dwell on the solution, not the pollution. What are the different types of pet foods that are available? Meat-based kibble. High-quality companies don't use grains or fillers. Therefore, the kibble is low-carbohydrate and safe for your pet. Canned foods. A highly nutritious meat-based canned food would contain about 95% meat with small amounts of fruits and vegetables and no grains or fillers would be added frozen raw food. Raw food is a convenient and complete way to feed your pet the way nature intended. Raw meats provide the greatest source of bioavailable nutrients, included unaltered proteins, enzymes, and amino acids. These diets are raw and 95% meat, organ meats, and ground bone, and about 5% fruits and vegetables. They are nutritionally whole, offering your pet everything it needs to grow and maintain health. Freeze-dry diet. A dry, lightweight, convenient way to feed your pet raw foods when you are unable to keep the raw foods refrigerated or when you're traveling. They are reconstituted with water. Treats. There are high quality treats that are nutritious and that will satisfy your pet's palate. They supply additional protein, fat, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, as well as natural sources of glucosamine, chondroitin, collagen, and calcium for healthier joints and connective tissue. Whole food supplements contain a wide variety of dense nutrients and raw foods. They are a rich source of nutritional factors such as vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids, enzymes, probiotics, prebiotics, bioflavonoids, antioxidants, carbohydrates, and proteins. A diet with a great variety of nutrients will provide a healthier immune system. These high quality foods are found only in the health food stores and don't have big name brands attached to them. Dietary programs will vary according to metabolism, daily activity, age, genetics, health status, environment, and other factors. Our goal is to teach you how to upgrade your furry friend's diet. You and your vet are a powerful healthcare team working together to achieve health for this very important family member. You may need to upgrade your vet to a holistic one if they are not willing to help you with this healthcare plan for your most beloved pet. Our pets are eating their way towards diabetes, heart disease, and other diseases. Conventional pet food companies often use low quality protein and fats in their pet foods. The cheapest are used. They fill these pet foods with high contents of low quality carbohydrate laden cereal grains.
they have replaced the good fats and the proteins with starch because it is cheap. And that is not what cats and dogs are used to eating in the wild. A good diet would mean increasing the amount of raw or rare meats, adding vegetables, essential fats, and cutting back on the grains. Raw meats are more beneficial for your pet than cooked meats. Dr. Francis Pottinger confirms these findings. Over several generations, cats on raw diets were normally healthy, while those on cooked diets developed allergies, heart problems, arthritis, infection, neurological diseases, and a shortened lifespan. You can find Dr. Pottinger's study on the internet. Why go natural? Natural pet food companies use chickens that contain no antibiotics and are fed only 100% natural, all vegetable diets. They are raised in abundant fresh air and provided with clean water. They use only organic ingredients. Organic foods are produced without the use of herbicides, pesticides, artificial fertilizers, and they are not irritated. They avoid the use of additives and preservatives. So natural pet food companies don't use antibiotics or steroids, chemical additives or artificial preservatives. No wheat, no corn, no soy, no artificial colors or dyes. Even with the natural pet food companies, check out the labels. Some companies are better than others. Use brands that are found in the health food store and have a good reputation. If you are not sure what brand to buy, ask a health food store employee. Raw frozen meats. Raw pet foods use only organic, hormone-free, chemical-free, and pesticide-free ingredients. Their ingredients include organic turkey, chicken, and beef, including ground-up bone and organic grains, herbs, and vegetables. This ensures that no unwanted chemicals are being introduced into your pet's diet. All of their meat products are fresh, frozen from the farm, and handled with the same or higher level of care that would be given to food products in a plant that prepares food for human consumption. Every product is manufactured under completely sanitary conditions and kept frozen from the farm to your pet's dish. Even though there are no government regulations dictating that this level of care need be taken in the manufacturing of pet foods, Many companies feel that it is their responsibility to their distributors, customers, and their pets that this same kind of care and standards that apply to manufacturing food for human consumption be applied to food production for our companion animals. What are the benefits of raw food? Heat processing, which is standard in the pet food industry, changes or destroys many important nutrients. In fact, some nutrients now recognized as essential have only been identified in the last few years. Doesn't it make sense to stay as close to food's natural state as possible? What are some of the benefits of raw foods? Minerals are better assimilated. Vitamins are more bioavailable. Beneficial antioxidants are present. Amino acids are more bioavailable. Natural digestive enzymes are still present. Probiotics are spared. Amino acids such as tyurene are not destroyed. What are some of the negative effects of heat processing? Loss of up to 100% of certain vitamins. Loss of up to 60% of certain amino acids. Enzymes destroyed. Probiotics destroyed. Loss of up to 10% of certain fatty acids. Fats can become toxic or rancid. 
oxidation of cholesterol. Raw meat for your pet sometimes scares people. Your cat and dog's digestive system is short and acidic, and this means that it is perfect for killing off bacteria. But before starting your pet on a program, discuss this with your holistic vet. Adding pet enzymes and probiotics to their diet can kill off unfriendly bacteria in their intestinal tract. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. We are not engaged in rendering veterinarian medical advice or services. Find a holistic veterinarian. If you want to learn about natural health care for pets, other valuable resources are health food stores, naturopathic doctors, nutritionists, and herbalists. Your health food store is a valuable resource to get up to speed on natural pet care. No specific products are being endorsed in this video. All products shown in this video were natural and located in your local natural health food store. No conventional foods were shown on this video. The producer is simply sharing her personal experiences and expertise with the viewing audience. Please visit us at www.zahariproductions.com.